Okay, proceed tayo sa question number 7. So, decimal 5 is equal to 1 quartile. So, in, uh, complete natin itong analogy na ito. Okay? But, first, define na natin si quartile and decimal. Ano ba si quartile at decimal? S sila po ay under measures of position. Ano ginagawa ni quartile? Since quart ito, quart means 4, dinidivide niya po yung distribution, I mean, yung dinidivide niya yung data into 4 equal parts. How about the decimal? De Tandaan yung decimal na siya 10 sides. So, ang ginagawa ni decimal, dinidivide niya yung data into 10 equal parts. Okay? So, under quartile, meron tayong quartile 1, which is 25% of the data. Quartile 2, which is 50% of the data. Quartile 3, which is 75% of the data. And quartile 4, which is 100%. Okay? So, paano naman si decimal? Okay? So, si decimal naman, we have the decimal 1, decimal 2, decimal 3, decimal 4, decimal 5, decimal 6, decimal 7, decimal 8, decimal 9, decimal 10. Okay? By the way, this is not actually the, uh, yung actual na representation natin ng quartile and decimal. Okay? So, ganito ko lang siya i-set palagi. Okay? So, Si D1 is 10%, okay? Si D2 is 20%. Si D3 is 30%. Si D4 is 40%. And D5 is 50%, okay? So, saan kaya mag equal si quartile, I mean, si decile 5? mag equal siya kay quartile 2. Bakit po? Kasi sila po yung half na distribution. So, therefore, quartile 1, 2, is equal to what decile 5. Okay? That's it. Next question. So the answer here is quartile 2. Okay. What is the range of the given set of data? Okay, so ano ba si range? Si range po is the distance of the highest score to the lowest score. Okay, so paano po natin ito kapitin yun? So we have to get the highest score minus lowest score. Okay, so ano yung highest score natin dito? So it is 180 minus 105. Okay? So, 180 minus 105 is just 75. Okay? So, meaning, so, ang distance ng highest score to the lowest score from the distribution of data is 75. So, the answer here is letter C. Okay. Next question. So, in the National Achievement Test, part that, the standard deviation is low. Which of the following is true? Kanina sinabi ko po si standard deviation is under measures of variability. Pero ano po ba si standard deviation? Si standard deviation po, sinusukat niya yung spreadness no distribution ng data. Okay? Kung gaano kalayo-layo sa isa't isa yung data or kung gaano sila kakalat. So meaning, kapag yung uh, scores, yung dalawang score, meron sila standard deviation na 1, Meaning, ang distance nila is 1 sa isa't isa. Okay? Paano pag 2? So, lumalayo ba sila sa isa't isa? Yes. Habang tumataas po yung standard deviation, lalo sila naga, nagkakalayo-layo o nagkakaiba-iba. Okay? Pero sa option natin, hanapin natin yung tamang sagot. Pagbigyan ko yung NT. Pag meron po kayo nakitang uh, dalawang option na sobrang opposite, isa po dun yung pwede yung sagot. Okay? So, ano ba yung sobrang opposite dito? So, we have homogeneous and heterogeneous. Ano po ba si homogeneous? Okay? Si homogeneous po yung almost the same or in the same kind. What about the heterogeneous? Sila yung magkakaiba halos. Okay? So, meaning, kapag homogeneous ang scores mo, magkakatikit lang or magkakalapit. So, let's say, 21, 22, 20, 21, ganun lang yung scores mo. Pag homogeneous. What about heterogeneous? So, let's say, we have 1, uh, 7, 101. Okay? Pansin ninyo, magkakalayo sila sa isa't isa. Okay? So, that is heterogeneous. So, paano kapag is 
standard deviation is low. So meaning, magkakadikit lang yung mga, mga scores or magkakamukap lang sila. So definitely, our answer here is letter A. Scores are homogeneous. Okay, next question. Uh, measures of central tendency discuss natin ito. Hindi ito lagi, hindi ito nawawala sa exam. So let's say we have this data. So 2, 3, 7, 8, 10, 11, 1, 5. Ang pas, 2, 3, 7, 8, 10, 11, 1, 5. Okay, so be careful sa pagkaki. So, ano po ba yung mga measures of central tendency na meron tayo? So, we have the mean. Okay, discuss natin si mean. Okay? So, si mean is just the average of this set of data. So, paano natin siya pinupompute? So, number of mean sum of data divided by number of data. Okay. So, check natin yung sum nito. So, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 8 is 20 plus 10, 30 plus 11, 41 plus 1, 42 plus 5, 47. Okay? So, that is sum of data. What about the number of data? So, simple lang yan. Kapag uh, ikakount mo lang ito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 47 divided by 8. Okay? So, divide natin ito. So, 47, 47 divided by 8 is 5.875. Okay? So, that is the mean. What about the median? So, si median po is the middlemost number in the distribution of data. Okay? So, median. Ano first step to find the median? So, ganito lang yan. Arrange mo muna yung data mo into a ascending or descending order. Okay? I usually prefer to arrange it as 20 order. Let's see. So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay? So, check natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Make sure na walang may iwanan. Okay? So, pag uh, add yung ano mo, number of data, add. Ano ba yung mga add? So, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay? Ganun ba example add numbers? Pag add daw po yung uh, number of data mo, automatically, yung pinaka-middle na number is the median. But what if yung number of data natin is even? Ano po ba yung mga even? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? So, on. So, yung number of data natin dito is even. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, get the two middlemost number. So, ano ba yung two middlemost number dito? We have 5 and 7. Then, ano gagawin mo? Get the mean or the average of it. So, 5 plus 7 divided by 2. Okay? Divided by 2 to get the half of it. So, 5 plus 7 is 12 over 2. So, ating median here is 6. Okay? So that is your media. What about the mode? Si mode po is the most frequent number. Most frequent. Okay? So, yung palagi daw na ulit. So, check natin sa binigay natin dito kung meron tayong mode. So, meron ba tayong ulit na number dito? So, wala. Okay? So, ang answer nyo dyan, kapag tinanong yung mode, is no mode. But what if meron kang 7 dito? Okay? So, I think ang mode mo is 7. Okay? Ang tawag po sa type ng mode na yun is unimodal. Paano kapag meron kang another na 3? So, dalawa na yung mode mo. So, 3 and 7. So, ang tawag po dun is bimodal. Next, paano kapag may 8? So, tatlo na yung mode mo. You have 8, 3, and 7. Okay, so ang tawag doon, that is multi-modal. So that is your measures of central tendency. Okay, pwede tayo sa problem solving. Okay. A father 
is three times as old as his son. Six years ago, the sum of their ages is 80. How old is his son? So, para mas madalingan kayo may isop ito, kasi 